Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own DIY water wheel and also talking to you a little bit about the pros and cons of hydropower, also known as hydroelectric power, which is when people are able to harness the energy created by the movement of water and use that energy to power the city you live in today. Let's get started. So let's first gather all the materials you're going to need. So you're going to need this styrofoam ball, eight of these tiny popsicle sticks, these two paper cups provided, one skewer stick, and also any sort of big bowl or deep plate. So for example, I'm using this baking pan. Okay, so for step one, you're gonna take your styrofoam ball and your eight popsicle sticks. Okay, I just remembered and I didn't do it in the video, but if you would like, grab some coloring materials and decorate the popsicle sticks. This is optional though. So the first thing you're going to do is take one popsicle stick and just stick it in anywhere. Um, you want to stick it in about like this much or to, my, uh, to where like my thumb is. So you're just going to stick it in to your styrofoam ball anywhere. Okay. And then you're going to take your second one and stick it in on the opposite side of this. Make sure they're parallel to each other. So these are going to be sort of like your center. And then um, in the center, like in between these two right down the middle, you're going to stick a third one. You're going to take a fourth popsicle stick and stick it across from this one. Fifth one, you're just gonna pick one of these and then stick it right in the middle. And then you take this one and stick it right across. Um, and then you're gonna take the seventh one and stick it in between these two. So right around here. And last one, right in between these. Okay, so the last one wasn't sticking, so I used some tape to help secure it. And I also pushed in some of the ones I put in deeper because they were not very sturdy. So once you put all of them in, make sure that it looks kind of like this. And just tuck all of them, make sure they're all pretty sturdy and won't easily fall out. Okay, so step two. You're going to take your wooden skewer and poke one hole through each of these cups. I also just remembered you don't actually have to use the uh, wooden skewer. Um, as long as you poke the two holes in the cups, it's fine. Probably you could you just use like a hole puncher or maybe scissors. Just be careful when you do it. So I already did it. So you can see there's a hole right here and there's a hole right here. So I would poke it right around like the middle of this color band because that's about like the height that you would want it to be at. So you're going to take the pointy end, not, not the flat end, the pointy end of the skewer and just poke a hole through it. Um, this step was a little hard and a little dangerous, so you might want to ask an adult for help. Now you're ready for step three. So for step three, you're going to take your wooden skewer again, and you're going to basically stick it through the styrofoam ball. And um, you want it to be perpendicular to like kind of like the line you made with your popsicle sticks. So you kind of want to make like a cross when you stick it through. So you're just going to stick it through the middle and just stick it right across. Be careful when it comes out, don't poke yourself. And you're gonna leave your styrofoam ball right around the middle of this um, skewer. So step four. So you're gonna take one end of this skewer and in your cup with the holes in them, you're just gonna take one end and put it into one of the holes and you're gonna take the other end and put it through the hole in the other cup so that the cups kind of act as like stands and you can spin your- Okay, step five, the last and most exciting part of this project, actually testing it out. So you have your contraption and you have your bowl or plate or whatever you used and basically you're gonna put your contraption over it so that the cups are on the sides. You might have to adjust how much um, like skewer you put into the cup and you want the plate or bowl underneath your uh, styrofoam ball. 
And now you're gonna need some running water. So I'm taking like a plastic cup and then I just fill it with water and pour it out. You can also probably just do it in your sink or maybe outside with like a water hose. So anyway, so now I'm gonna take this water and pour it onto these um, little popsicle sticks and watch what happens. Pretty cool, right? Okay, now that we have finished our project, let's explain the science behind it. Okay, so what you just created is a DIY version of a water wheel, which simulates how real water wheels work. So in a real water wheel, it there's obviously like a wheel, and then the wheels have these little paddles, which is represented in our project by um, the popsicle sticks. And there would be like a constant flow of water that falls onto the little paddles, and then that causes the wheel to spin. Just like how in our project, the was like a flow of water that falls into the little popsicle sticks and then that caused the styrofoam to spin or the styrofoam ball sorry to spin as long as the water kept falling on which it. brings me to the first pro of using hydropower so hydropower is renewable because the water or like the rate or the lakes and rivers where you got the water from is not going to go anywhere and you can't use up this water because it's not just going to disappear one day it's always going to be there on earth and you can use this water as many times as you would like to produce as much energy as you would like. So a popular resource that is used to generate energy is something called fossil fuels, which are things like um, petroleum or oil or coal. And we as humans, we dig these things up from underground and we burn them. And although this process does give off energy, it also produces something called uh, greenhouse gases, which are things like methane or carbon dioxide. And once these gases are released into the air, it's not good for the environment because it um, causes a lot of pollution. Luckily, hydropower doesn't emit these gases, so it's actually better for the environment because it causes less pollution. Some cons of using hydropower include the fact that hydropower is affected by droughts, um, which is when there's like not a lot of water and it's like really dry. And hydropower can also create floods which is not good for the people that are living around the hydropower plant or like the nature that is around Another it. Another con of hydropower is that they are very expensive to start off because they cost a lot of money to build. However, hydropower also promotes uh, recreation and tourism and they create areas that are perfect for fishing or boating or swimming or water skiing. And these activities can uh, balance out the initial high cost of building the hydropower plant. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, hopefully you learned something new about hydropower. And of course, I also hope you had a lot of fun making the water beer with me. That's all. Bye.